Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today we are in the May plan with me. Now I'm going to give you an overview. I have made changes again. Someday maybe I'll find planner piece. Okay, same cover set up, same paper. Uh, I now have an inbox, and this is where I will be sticking uh, sticky notes when I have them. These are pockets I made, and basically... They will be where I put important papers like the size of my heater filters come winter, stuff like that that I have to remember and deal with. I bought some sticky notes and this is the rest of my inbox. My inbox is just a place where I can scribble notes and ideas and things that I have, um, things that I want to remember, things that I need to keep track of, that kind of stuff, just junk. So any kind of paper in here works just fine. Now I've got my project section. As you see, I've got a bunch of projects off of it already so and then I've got my little project pages here oh that was my Christmas gift sorry can't see that folks sorry about that but I've got little projects throughout here on pages then I've got my routines where I have my daily routine my or my wake up my daily my bedtime routine the reason I do this is because sometimes I forget uh, as you age, you lose memory abilities, and so I have this to help me remember to do everything that needs to be done every day and every night. Now, this is my weekly planner routine. This is new to my uh, planner, I think, um, and this helps me determine... Oops, there went a reminder telling me to take a medication. Um, this will, helps me to remember what I need to put into my planner every week. And then, of course, I have a monthly one where I remember where that helps me remember to do that. Then I have my channel pages, of course, seven days to die. And then I have my stats. Now, this is new. This is from Fancy Plans, and I love these pages. I am looking um, at her stuff a lot. Her company name is Fancy Plans Co. And uh, it's it's really great. She's got a website online and everything. And her pages are awesome. I, I really love them. This is another one. Her social media page that helps me plan out what pictures I need to take. And what I'm going to put up from all my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Discord stuff. So I really love these. They're really very helpful. And then here's some video ideas I have. And my to-do list for the channel. And my keys on what all the little marks and everything means. And then here's the schedule for what YouTube videos went up. I do this so I don't repeat videos because I found that in the past I have repeated videos. So I do this so I don't repeat videos. And here's the progress of each video, what I've done to it. And what, ga what videos and vlogs I'm doing and what games I'm doing for the month. And then here's a tracker for my uh, Minecraft for what videos I've done and what ones I'm still needing to do. Same thing here. This is a to-do list. And there's my to-do list. Now, this is my some, my burning questions of the day on Discord. I come up with various questions, ask people the questions, and then we have a conversation about it. And then there's all my stats from RuneScape. That's more for me just to remember because I tend to forget. So... And then here's the May. I've got that all set up already, what videos I'm going to do for May. And there's the log where I will keep what videos I did. Now, over here on the sidebar is where I plan out for each week what Ladies World is going to go up. Because I only do one Ladies World a week now. If you guys want to see more Ladies World, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and I can work on doing that. So, you know, if you'd rather see more Ladies World than games, let me know. Okay, so that's just some scribble paper for notes and ideas. Here's my uh, vision board again, as I've shown this to you before. Uh, this is where I plan out and think up my goals and stuff that I want to do. And here's a goal. I, a goal I want to make some gifts for people. Now, the medical section. Now, that's another thing I love about this stuff, and I'm not going to show you what it says and all completely, but this is a letter I got from my doctor's office, and I need to remember it. And use reference stuff off of it. So what I did is I simply punched it and put it in my planner in the medical section. Which works really, really well. So, there we go. Um, this is notes on medical. I take notes whenever I go to the doctor's office. And that's so that I can tell each doctor what we've done. Or what they've done. The previous doctor. So, you know. And that helps the uh, doctors a lot. And then here's my home. There's my cleaning routines and what days of the week I clean that on. And 
more cleaning routine and this is my power outage plan now if you've never made a power outage plan this is something i really think you should have uh because if your power goes out you you need to know what you're going to do and how you're going to progress for it it could be days it could be weeks before you get your power back and this helps you know where everything is like for instance if i want a uh, Matches for candles. They're in the junk drawer in the kitchen. I know that. Batteries are in my closet on the bottom shelf. You know, clay pots on the porch. Keep the freezer door closed. Um, if worse comes to worse and the meat starts to really become a problem, we'll take it out and put it on the grill and grill it and smoke it and, you know, cook it like that, which is going to take several hours because we got a lot of food in there. So, now we're going to skip on through here to April which I keep, I'm getting so I keep a lot of stuff in the April tab because it pertains to April. So now this is just a reminder. I put it in this tab as a reminder. This is my weekly to-do list prompts and this is my key for this and my to-do list, okay? Now here's my, uh, well, we're not doing April though. We're doing May, so we need to flip over to May. I keep forgetting we're, we're doing May now. See, my memory sucks. So anyway, here's the May tab, okay? Now what will happen is all this stuff here, all of this stuff here, not the April, but this will go back here in May because uh, this is where the May budget stuff is going. So we go all the way over here to June. We flip that through and we put the bills in here to at the end of May. And then as I pay them, I color it off so I know that I have one less payment. So now here's May. Let me open May. Here's the May to-do list. Here's the, the, this is the log to this because there's not enough space to write stuff in. So I just put a little dot there and somewhere around here I have a little key that goes to that. But um, I don't know where my key went. I'll have to find that. But it tells you, you know, these are bills. This is a birthday. This is a holiday. Different colors represent different things. So, and then we have uh, what day that is. You know, like the second my rent's due, I get uh, my so my widow's pension on the second. Uh, Sling and uh, Cox is due. Cox is our cable service. No laughing at that one, folks. I don't know who named that company, but that was a bad idea. Um, Paramount is due on the 6th. Um, and I might have an electric bill due there. We'll have to see. My hospital bill, my prime payment, and my shed is due that day. The 15th is my phone, which I forgot to write down. My phone bill, and that's my renter's insurance. So, and then I have goals that I will uh, have for this month written there. And then I've got a page here where, um, and this is a goals for, monetary goals for the month. Things that I want to do monetarily for the month. This is my regular goals. What uh, Two things that I really would like to make a goal or a habit out of this month. This is my word of the month where I'm going to pick a word and uh, basically keep, you know, learn that word. Like last month's word was copious. So I have copious amounts of stickers for planners. I have copious amounts of pens. That kind of thing. So this is my stone of the month and my herb of the month that I will be studying and then here is the first page, which is Beltane, which I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but I am a pagan, so I celebrate the, oh, that's off frame. There we go. So I celebrate the pagan holidays. Beltane is actually the first of May, which a lot of people would know as May Day. Um, that's when it's a fertility celebration for the animals. The old pagans used to do a, a maypole dance to elicit fertility in their animals so that they had plenty to eat for the next year so and here's the last of this page now i'm not doing this anymore i'm not going to do the page a day this is just memories and stuff this is a blank page i'm not sure what i'm going to use it for yet but i'll figure it out i'm going back to a weekly setup uh the reason being is i'm wasting a lot of paper and as you can see it makes my planner really super thick to have a page a day and that's not working for me because it won't fit my purse anymore. So, but here's all my, uh, my week on, you know, my week, one week here. 
and here's my water intake um it's a appointment sticker there my rinse do my cleaning this is my top three for that day this is uh top one for that day this is top two for that day and i'm not going to do top three unless i have three that day but uh you know i do have my top things and there'll be a line in between all of that which i will maybe color in with something i don't know i'll look for something this is my water this is my breakfast lunch and dinner to remind myself to eat something three times a day because i'm bad about that i've been known to i've been known to wait until my son will come uh over from uh in the evenings and he'll say have you eaten yet not, nope not all day not a bite all day long so uh, that's to remind me to eat this is my son's work schedule because uh I depend on his off days a lot for getting heavy things around the house done. He does all the heavy lifting here. I can't do the lifting. So, and here's the next day's page. And there's editing videos, what videos we will be editing. And then here we turn over. And I used a kit on this because I had this leftover kit. I still have parts of this kit I'll be using. But I had this and I thought, I'm going to go ahead and use this kit. And it's really kind of pretty. So here's uh, some, I you know, to-do list items and more to-do list items and streams and schedule. So that that's basically what I'm going to be doing for a while. I'm going to be going back to a weekly format. And as you see, this is what the page usually looks like. I wipe that out. I cover this up. I wipe that out. I wipe that out. I put my own days and stuff in there. So now also I have my monthly budget in April which is something I've started doing is putting this in the month because it pertains to the month. So April, I keep saying April, May, May. I have to remember it's a new month coming up here. So here's my budgeting. Here's a page I made, and this is for notes and stuff, but this is a page I made for my expense tracker so that I can see where I, at, I am, what my balance is, how much money I have left over before I spend. That's very important that you know how much you have in the bank before you spend. Never, ever spend without knowing how much you have because that's a great way to bounce checks, bounce your account, overdraw yourself, and basically screw up your finances. And most overdraw fees now are like 35 bucks for each one. So if you bounce, hold on just a second here. Let me show you something. Let's do a calculator here. 35 times let's say you balance four things that's a hundred and forty dollars you just lost because you didn't keep good track of your balance so i highly recommend and that comes out automatically they don't even they send you a letter in the mail saying hey you overdraw we took this money they take that off. so that means everything else that you have previously is going to balance also because you no longer have that hundred and forty dollars in your bank account so, I keep a running balance and make sure that I know exactly how much money is in my account at all times. Very, very important, folks. If you don't do that, I recommend you do it now. Write down on your phone if you have to. Since you take your phone with you out, you, you know, you could, you could do a little thing like, uh, hold on, like that. Notes and stuff. You could, you could do notes and stuff. Reminders. Reminder that you only have so much money left in your account. That will help you not to overspend. Uh-oh, wrong way. That way, that way. I also keep a little calendar in here. This is the emergency calendar. In case I don't have anything to write an appointment on. So, okay, folks. That is my setup for May. We don't have June yet, but it's pretty much the same every month for now. I've got this part in already and um, this part in and, yeah. And that's it. And I do that all the way through. I have all my birthdays and holidays already listed. All my bill days do. Everything done so that I don't have to worry about it. So, let's go back to May. Thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, this is Lady DeWinter reminding you that you're never too old to game. You're never too old to do anything you want to do. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.